It's the brother man and we buck. My name is Steven Matthews, trainer and creator of Be United Fitness. If this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in all the topics regarding health, fitness, and sports performance, you will be able to learn how to move more efficiently and improve your overall athletic capabilities. Leave a comment down below with whatever you're training for and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will continue to create educational videos on topics that you may prefer. So it is important that you do leave that comment. With that being said, our topic for today is my top 10 exercises to fix bad posture, bad upper body posture from easy to hard. Posture is very important. Many people suffer with bad upper body posture, having rounded shoulders and the sunk in chest is not good for your overall health and especially body movements. That's why I'll be providing you guys with demonstration videos. In this video, there's gonna be a collage of them. Demonstration videos, 10 exercises for good upper body posture. These exercises are not as difficult as you think. It is best that you put effort into doing them consistently if you would like to see the results. So with that being said, our first exercise, the easiest one is going to be name, banded over and backs. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the number one exercise to fix bad upper body posture is called banded over and backs. You're going to need a light resistance band, not a medium or a heavy one because you want to be able to slightly pull it apart. Eventually, it will get easier and that's when you will move on to the medium band, but for now, stick to the light one. Start by holding the band on both ends with your palms facing downward. Slowly bring the band up and over your head to the other side of your body while keeping your arms completely straight. If it is too difficult, then it's okay to pull a band apart so that your hands are wider from each other. The closer your hands are, the harder it will be to get the band over and back. This exercise will help loosen up stiff shoulders. This is a great one for those who have careers at a desk typing all day. Please hurry up and buy a band. The next exercise, one of my favorites, is called resistance band pull apart. You have the option to use a light or medium resistance band. A heavy one will be too difficult for now, but something you can progress up to. The main goal of this movement is to control the band and not let it pull you. You're going to start with your arms straight out in front of you while holding both ends of the band with your palms facing up. Next, pull the band apart with your thumbs going back and your arms creating a T-shaped form. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades at the end of the movement and then slowly control the band back to start in position. This exercise will help you strengthen your rear deltoid and trapezius muscles, especially the mid and lower area. Always make sure to stop completely at a T and don't let your hands go past your shoulders. For the third exercise, another one of my favorites that is fairly easy to do. You will definitely feel the muscles in your shoulder blades working if you're not used to standing up straight. The good thing about WT wall slides is that you don't need any equipment for this one. Stand with your feet together and your heels, butt, upper mid back and head attached to the wall. You can also fly in your back by sucking in your stomach to remove the lower gap. Start with your hands attached to the wall with your palms facing away from your body and your arms in a W shape. Then slowly straighten your arms out to a T shape while keeping your arms attached to the wall. Bring your arms back to the start position and make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades. This one is a good one for the deep back muscles around the shoulder blades and it helps keep your chest upright. Moving on to exercise number four. Incline bench resistance band wire raises. 
Great for retracting the shoulder blades and stretching the chest. It is an awkward position to be in. You will need a bench and a band. Bring the bench to an incline. Kneel down on the bench with your stomach and chest flat. Hold the band straight out in front of you with your palms facing each other and your thumbs pointed up. Raise your hands up in a wild shape and try to get your shoulders behind your ears while keeping your arms straight. Tuck your chin and squeeze your shoulder blades together to lift and stretch the chest. Slowly lower your arms back down to start in position and repeat. This exercise works the mid traps and the extensive muscles around the spine to help you stand up nice and tall. The next exercise is kind of tricky to do. You'll need a foam roller and a wall to lean on. This exercise is called foam roller scapular wide wall slides. Grab the foam roller and place it on the wall about eye height. With your elbows bent, place your forearms about shoulder width apart on the foam roller and your palms facing towards each other while standing in the split stance position. Also, keep your thumbs pointed back. Slowly roll the foam roller up the wall by straightening your arms above your head in a Y-shaped form. Sink your chest in towards the wall as close as possible while squeezing your shoulder blades together. Lower the foam roller back down by bending your elbows and returning back to the starting position. This exercise will help loosen up tight chest and shoulders. For the sixth exercise, we got dumbbell W open and close. I really like this exercise because it activates muscles in the shoulder and back that you probably never really felt before. It is better to use a lighter weight or no weight at all. Start with your feet hip width apart and hold the dumbbells with your palms facing up. Bend your elbows to create a W shape and keep your thumbs pointed back and hands aligned with your shoulders. Slowly bring the dumbbells down on the diagonal towards each other, but do not let them touch. Bring your hands back to starting position and repeat the process. You will feel a deep contraction in the shoulder blades and close to the rib cage. Retract your shoulder blades and squeeze them together. This will really open up your chest muscles. Make sure to keep your hands from going past your shoulders. Next up, another one of my favorite exercises for posture, and it is called foam roller snow angels. All you need to do is place the foam roller down vertically, sit down on the foam roller, then lie down with your spine and head on top of it. Next. Bend your knees and have your feet flat on the ground. Then keep your arms by your sides completely straight with your palms facing up and hands attached to the ground. Slowly simulate the motion of a snow angel while keeping your hands attached to the ground. Make sure to go all the way up and all the way down to get a full range of motion. This exercise is great for stretching out your chest and loosening up your shoulder girdle. Our eighth exercise on the list is called foam roller T-spine extensions. This one is difficult because it is an awkward position and the foam roller tends to move a lot. Place the foam roller horizontally on the floor. Sit down in front of the foam roller with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Make sure that the middle of your spine is touching the foam roller. Then bring your hands behind your head and lace them together. Now you're going to lean and tilt your head back. Open your elbow out and down towards the ground as you go back. This will create a huge arc in your spine. Slowly sit back up and bring your elbows closer together at the end of the movement. Repeat the process. This exercise is good for your chest and ribcage muscles. Our ninth exercise for good upper body posture is called the Cobra. This one is a yoga pose heart opening back bend that stretches your entire upper body and can provide relief if you're experiencing back pain, tightness in your shoulders, or upper body soreness. Lie down on your stomach with your feet together and your elbows bent and hands flat on the ground by your sides, as if you're going to do a push up. Push your body up only 
it is important to keep your hips down attached to the ground at all times. Lean back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your chest up as high as you can and tilt your head back to look up towards the ceiling. Try your best to get your arms completely straight. Return back to the start position and repeat the process. The final exercise to complete my top 10 for better upper body posture is called 90 degree wall slides. I think this is the hardest one because if you suffer from bad posture, the most difficult thing for you to be able to do is putting your arms straight above your head. Starting by standing with your feet together, have your heels, butt, arms, and head attached to the wall at all times. Bring your arms up to match your shoulders with your elbows bent at 90 degrees. Keep your palms facing out and hands aligned with elbows. Slowly strain your arms up until your hands connect with each other while keeping them attached to the wall. Slowly lower back down to starting position and repeat. Okay, and that wraps it up for my top 10 exercises for bad upper body posture. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Ask in the comment section below. Also, give us a thumbs up and show some support towards this video if you think that it was helpful. And please subscribe to this channel. I will continue to make more videos regarding health and fitness. Stay tuned for more and let's get buff.